guys, it's Brittany, aka Charlie B. What's going on? So, first things first, happy new year. Um, I hope that everybody has so far had a blessed year. <laughs> it's only been two days. But um, you know, I know for most people, most people feel like 2016 was not a good year. 2016 was kind of a good year for me. But I know why everybody says it wasn't a, a good year at all. Um, so, but, you know, either way, I'm just praying for a prosperous and blessed, you know, 2017 for me, my family, my friends, and for all of you watching. All right. So let's get into it. So for those of you just uh, joining me, this is my second month. Um, I am doing my update on my hair growth challenge or whatever you want to call it. So just to recap what products, you know, I'm using and what methods I'm doing. Um, I am doing a weekly, washing my hair weekly with these, with the OGX Thick and Full Biotin and Collagen Shampoo. Ooh, I memorized that. <laughs> uh, eating daily two hair, skin, and nails gummies from Nature Made. And then I am doing daily scalp massages uh, with an oil mixture of my choice. Now this is olive oil, grapeseed oil, and castor oil, but you do not have to use a mixture, or if you do want to do a mixture, you don't have to stick to this one. Um, in my first video, I did explain why I picked these three um, oils. So before we get into the lunch check, I do want to explain um, where, I may, where I may have drifted off from what I said I was going to do in, the, in my first month video. So as far as the shampoo, I pretty much stuck to that. If anything, I might not have done, you know, a full seven-day turnaround in terms of washing my hair. It might have been, you know, nine days or ten days in between. But nothing too uh, too much of a variation. With the um, vitamins, same thing, pretty much stuck to that. The only days I didn't, I did have to go last week to Nashville for a work conference. Um, so I flew out on Tuesday, and I did forget to bring, so, and I came back on Thursday, so I probably only skipped one day. Um, so, again, not much variation here at all. Um, I do want to say, I did mention in my last video that, um, I'm interested to see how it affects my skin and how it affects my nails, since it is also for skin and nails. Um, for my nails, I can't say I've seen much of a difference. For my skin, I can't really speak on that either, just because I actually have tried, um, just started trying a new, um, facial, facial wash. So, I wouldn't be fair to, I, I have seen a bit of a change. My skin is clearing up a little bit, but I can't really attribute it to, you know, which one specifically has done it. Now, the biggest um, variation in my in my journey has been the oil scalp massages. Now, for one, um, I think I mentioned in my last video how when you mix oils, you actually have to be careful with how long to keep it because they don't have a long shelf life. I, I'm assuming depending on which oils you pick, but um, I kept this uh to show you guys i don't it might not show on camera but if you guys can see like those dark spots um in the bottle that's like bacteria or something so this will be good <laughs> thrown out um i've had this for i've had this actually for a very long time i've probably had this for about three to four months so that's actually relatively um a relatively long time i usually go through oil a lot quicker but um, you know, this is a small, it's a smaller bottle and I'm using it for a di different type of application to what I usually use oil for. So that's probably why it lasted long. The second reason, the second thing is, um, as far as the oil is, I stopped doing my scalp massages. Now I noticed after the second week of doing my daily scalp massages that my head was, my scalp was so tender. Now I'm not, uh, tender headed, at least not to my knowledge. So, you know, I making an educated decision, uh, uh, educated observation, assumed that it was for me rubbing my scalp on a daily. So what I intend to do, I don't want to completely, you know, throw that part out because it is good. It is a good part of the hair growth journey. Well, I guess we'll, we'll see if it's a good part of the hair growth journey, right? But um, I'm deciding on two options, whether it be maybe I'll do the scalp massages for a full week and then stop for a week and then you know do it again for the so basically two weeks out of the month um every other week out of the month and or maybe do it every two days so i'm gonna experiment with that and hopefully i'll have an answer for you guys next month to see which works better for me all right so now that we got that out of the way let's get to the hair lunch check 
All right, so last month, my hair was at, in the front, we had 15 inches. From the crown, it was 14 inches. The side was 13 inches, and then the back was 10 and a half inches. So I have not checked this yet at all. This is my first time checking this, looking for my measuring tape. Here we go. And let's do this. Now, I don't want to mess up my hair too much. This is an old perm rod set, but, you know, it has, like, it has a few more, you know, maybe day. <laughs> so, let's see. Okay, so, huh. That looks like it got shorter. Is that the same piece? So that just came out to 14 and a half. Let me make sure I'm getting a piece right dead in the middle because that's where it was last time. I don't want to short change myself. I'll be honest with you guys. My hair did feel like it got shorter. So I'll just, I mean, like it got longer. So um, a little, a little disappointed just right there. saying this is 14 and not it's not three quarters what is this one two three four five six seven it's 14 and seven eighths so it's a little weird maybe it's a and I don't really have breakage on the side of my I mean in the front of my hair so I'm a little curious as to what that means okay let's go to the crown Sorry if you hear some sniffles. I am battling a cold at the moment. Thirteen. Hmm. Let's do that again. Looks like we're having a, a pattern though. It also could be my particular hairstyle, right? Because it is stretched towards the top, but the ends are not. There we go. So that grew a quarter, is it a quarter? Yeah, that grew a quarter of an inch. Still not really good. Ooh, we're looking for an inch. Thirteen and a half, half inch. Ten inches and a quarter. So, looks like my hair grew about a quarter each. It's not really good because like I said, it's supposed to grow about an inch a month. At least I have to go back and read. <laughs> it could very well be an inch and I'm just in denial right now because I mean, I am a little, I'm a little disappointed. I am a little disappointed. Um, even when I put my hair in this perm rod set, I felt like my hair was getting really long. Like, probably because this piece, this piece is very <laughs> This piece looks like it, re it really, really grew. Um, but yeah, the, you know, the other thing could be, like I said, my particular hairstyle, but I'm not going to put it, you know, all on that. So I will do, I will probably, like, once I comb my hair out, because who knows, I could have attributed to the fact that it is a little bit of a curl. I know I did have a bit of a curl last time, but let me just have this. So <laughs> after I um, comb this out, I'll update this one, if this has been a change, or just let you guys know in next month's um, video how it went. So, uh, hopefully if anybody's, you know, doing this with, or following my journey, hopefully you have a little bit more, <laughs> more success on, uh, you know, your, your hair growth right now. Um, you know, and if, if you're using any different product products than, you know, than what I'm using, definitely let me know. I'd be happy to hear. I'm, I'm 
not going to necessarily use it just because, you know, it is very early in the journey, but I would just love to hear what you guys are doing. Um, so yeah, that's the other thing. It is just one month. So, you know, maybe next month my hair will grow like two inches. I don't know, wishful thinking, but you know, <laughs> it could, you know, it could, it could happen. It could happen. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And again, happy new year. See you guys on the flip.